for Whitmerstein, the Michigan no-fault auto insurance bill last week, but while many across the state are happy with the news, there are some that are now working to block the bill. Local 3's Tim Skubik has more from Lansing. A bipartisan joy was in the breeze on Mackinac Island last Thursday as the governor signed the no-fault legislation. But back on the mainland, a storm was brewing. The Michigan trial lawyers dumped almost $80,000 into Ms. Whitmer's campaign for governor, and the leadership there is upset, using such words as palpable outrage at your decision, deep disappointment, and the bill is destructive. Over at the Michigan Brain Injury Association, its CEO says he felt betrayed by the governor's actions, and both groups are threatening to do something about this. The trial lawyers, in their letter to the governor, promised legal action that could find its way to the state's highest court. The, the governor and others do concede that the new law is a good first step and progress has been made. But a coalition known as CPAN, made up of doctors, home care providers and others, will huddle this week to consider something else. A possible petition drive to block the law from ever taking effect, and then referring it to the citizens to decide. Mr. Constan says that decision, one way or the other, won't be made until they finish reading the law. And if you have a chance to stop this law, why wouldn't you? If it's so onerous. Uh, 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 again, to quote um, Washington, D.C., I'm not going to comment on hypotheticals. We, we need to find out exactly what this bill means. I don't want to step forward and say something and commit to anything when we're, we're not 100% sure of what this bill means. But you means. will consider then a petition drive to it's stop a, it. Sure. The governor has taken no fault off of her to-do list and wants to move quickly to fix the roads. But two of her major contributors do not agree. They just because might haul her into court to fix no fault instead. I'm Tim Skubik for Local 3 News.